Hey, Virgo, Summon, Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for December 6, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get a Virgo. It's coming in with the star card, the high priestess, and the strength energy. This is beautiful energy for you guys. Um... All right, Virgo's coming with the star card, the high priestess, and the strength card. So you guys are very, very powerful is how I'm seeing this, Virgos. You guys got this, they're saying immense, a, a, a very beautiful and immense energy that belongs to you and only you for this matter, Virgos. You guys have also had a lot of jealous people here with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You guys had jealous people left, right, and center who are looking at you like, because you're the high priestess. You are not from this planet, Virgos. You've never been here. Your galaxy is how I'm seeing the star, the star card, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. You are brought to this earth to teach about unconditional love. You are here to teach people what love really is. The highest frequency of, of, of this vibrational in this corrupted, scarcity, fucking scary ass world that we live in is that with all the evil that goes on into this world, that the love is what we are supposed to emit into the energy of the frequency of the quantum of the physics of whatever the fuck else what all right so being the high priestess that you are being the strength energy that you are being the star energy that you are you are literally not from here you guys are from the galaxy you guys are beautiful galaxy star seeds is how i'm seeing this virgo is very very powerful very strong very goddess type of energy here you guys have been reincarnated into star seeds several times before to teach about unconditional love here Virgos you guys have worked incredibly hard congratulations for all your efforts for trying to help the world for trying to teach about love for trying to do the best you guys can with the seven of pentacles to the ace of cups you guys are literally going to be blossoming and furthermore getting your wings back is how I'm seeing this you guys got these angel wings that are on you guys that are divinely protected by by the most high that is supposed to be guiding you taking care of you bringing you guys the abundance that you guys have are looking for and needing into this lifetime here ace of cups seven of pentacles and the star card you guys have been reincarnated as a star seed seven times i do believe that you guys are from are not even though you guys are coming in as human form in this lifetime you're actually not humans at all you guys are definitely pleading is how i'm seeing this star seed pleading galaxy uh very very powerful virgos you guys have 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 gone through so much hell is how I'm seeing this with this with the high priestess. In order for you to know light, you need to know dark. And in order for you to have dark, you need to know light. There is no in there's like no in between. You guys literally need to have light and you also have to have darkness. You literally had gone through a lot of hell to know what unconditional love genuinely looks like. Ace of Cups. And for that, Virgos, a lot of you guys and the pleadings, I do believe, are gonna be stepping away and going towards what is literally meant for them at the end of the day, uh, three of wands in reverse. Somebody here is not going to be moving forward anymore. Uh, and that's due because of a lot of jealousy, a lot of hatred, knowing that you guys deserve so much more, knowing that you guys deserve so much love, the same love that you guys put out into the world, the same love that you guys are teaching people, the same love that you guys are deserving for yourselves. This world is too fucked up, Virgos, and there's not a love, there's not enough love frequency into the world that would ever be able to top the love that you were giving out. Ace of Cups, it was a fucking privilege to be around your energy. It was a privilege for people to know you. It was a privilege for people to see you. It was a privilege for people to get to know who you are and to even hear your voice. High Priestess, Virgos, you guys are the, you guys are the keeper of secrets, the keeper of secrets. You guys know it all. You've been here before. You know everything and you know everything and everything and everything. You even know things that had happened in the past life and what's coming into the future as well. You know everything, Virgos. You guys are the keeper of secrets, meaning that you don't reveal a whole lot. You only do what your part is and that's the end of that. You only say what you're supposed to be saying. Otherwise, everything is hidden. High Priestess Virgos, you guys come in as the Knight of Cups, meaning that you guys are genuinely loved. You're, you're genuinely loved. You have the spirituality within you. You're pure, you're innocent, you're loving beings here. Uh, Knight of Cups, Virgos, you guys are strong and powerful. Um, I am picking up that song, Unstoppable, Powerful, Unstoppable, uh, that song, Virgos. And I don't believe anybody has the strength or the power within themselves to be anywhere 
that you are at on a spiritual level. And this is why people fucking hate you. Devil card, page of swords. And the reason why they hate you, Virgos, is because you bring out the demons within them because they don't want to face their demons. Page of swords, devil, it is what it is, Virgos. People see you for who you are and they see the magician that's in you. They see that you are capable of it all. They see that you are... If you want it, you're going to go get it. If you want to create it, you're going to have it. If you want to put the tools together, you want to put a plate, a fork, and a knife, you're going to make a meal out of it. You're going to do what you need to do at the end of the day to create what is best for you. I do believe, Virgos, do not be fearful of what your next journey is going to be with the two of wands in reverse. Your enemies are no longer going to be able to touch you, hurt you, or anything like this. Page of Swords and the Devil card. These people are kind of like on guard with the devil because the devil is now facing the Page of Swords, meaning that the devil is officially coming for your enemies. Uh, the same devils that they summoned up to hurt you are the same devils that are coming to get them and they look like they're afraid. They are in the page energy because they have not seen nor experienced the things that you've experienced, High Priestess. For that, Virgos, the devil is coming for all of your enemies. The devil is coming to get back what these people, the page of swords, have asked the devil to do. And the devil is looking at the page of swords like, no, we don't want this one anymore. We want you. We want the page of swords. We want the enemies. We want the ones who called on the devil to do all this harm onto this innocent high priestess who is, in fact, uh, a, a star, who is, in fact, um, light. And your energy is so powerful, Virgos, that the energy of the fact that you guys come off onto this earth plane of unconditional love People of the work who work with the underworld, who work with the devil energy, who are working with obsession and toxicity and jealousy from their heart space. Yeah, you did your part. As the page of swords to the devil card, you knew what it was that you was doing, but you didn't know that the same devil that you summoned up was going to come back and fuck you up. It is what it is. Page of swords, the devil's coming for you guys. Unfortunately, it is what it is, Virgos. Uh, the devil is coming for your enemies, for what they've done to you, for all the high priestesses, for all the for all the galactics, the pleadens, for all the earth angels, the light workers, for all you queens and kings who are royal in the spiritual realm. For every person who came in and casted anything upon your name, who dragged you, who tried to send the devil towards you, who tried to have them stalk you, hurt you, harm you, the ones who had fucking flies lingering around them all the fucking time because they summoned up these devils to come and fucking watch you and spy on you. Page of Swords, Virgos, your enemies are going to get fucked up very, very soon. As a matter of fact, the Page of Swords, they are ready for the devil, but they are, no, they are not as experienced. They don't know. They don't know. If they knew what they was going up against when you come in as a high priestess to the star card, if they knew who you were and what you were, I guarantee you they would never have done it. But now it's time for the devil to uh, to collect. The devil is coming for the page of swords, Virgos. It looks like you guys are going to be going into hermit with the four of swords. This was a huge constant battle in the spiritual realm with the five of wands, the tower card, and the five of cups in reverse. Every single thing that they have done on you, casted on you, gossiped about you, dragged your name left, right, and center, fucking got people after you. The, they're saying here, Virgos, everything is going to be returned back. Your ancestors are pissed the fuck off to a whole other extent. And because of the fact, Virgos, that you're choosing to put an end to it with the three of wands in reverse, you're saying, I'm not going to move forward with this anymore i know what i deserve i know where where i belong i know i'm nothing like these motherfuckers who sit here and work with the devil energy you're nothing like them and you're never going to be like them for that three of wands you're no longer moving forward you're going to go into hermit virgos with the four of swords you are very very cautious and you're very vigilant when it comes to spirituality you know better you know that the spiritual fucking warfare that you guys have been in for the last three years almost coming four years now has been nothing but a constant bullshit and fucking battle tower card five of cups your ancestors are pissed the fuck off they're they're very fucking angry virgos and and the things that are going to be happening to your enemies they are removing you from this situation because what's coming for your enemies at this point moving forward is going to be much more treacherous than whatever it was that you have been seeing with your own two eyes now for that four of swords you're being removed from it four of swords these these people are with the five of wands tower card and the five of cups everything is being returned back onto them they're going to have to put up a fight they're not going to be able to survive towers coming in for them everything that they wanted for you is now going to be crumbling for them the only person that will 
the fact that you guys are removing yourself is because you guys listen you guys know fucking very well that something treacherous is about to fucking happen and you guys know that something bad is about to happen for that you guys are removing yourselves virgos it's saying you're doing fine it's you're you're okay to remove yourselves from this situation whatever the situation this is for you guys that you guys have enemies coming after you attacking you spiritually attacking you hurting you harming you trying to stop you trying to block you trying to fuck you up they are officially removing you out of the situation for a source. It's time for you to take rest. It's time for you to heal yourself because whatever's coming in for your enemies is going to be much more treacherous than whatever the fuck they put you through. Tarot card, five of wands. Uh, and the five of cups of Virgos. your ancestors are pissed and they are returning everything back to the ones who hurt you um <clears throat> And the everything that you wanted, Virgos, is going to be picking up a lot more faster for you. They tried to stagnate you. They tried to sacrifice you. They tried, they tried to do every single thing you can possibly think of. These people have a lot of bad luck coming towards them. They're going to have a lot of bad omens coming towards them too for what they've done to you. And they, 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 they really didn't want you moving forward. They really didn't. But in turn, it's not up to them. If you guys decide to remove yourself from any anything that is involving spiritual warfare, psychic attacks, whatever it is, it's saying that. You can go ahead and move forward, Virgos, Eight of Wands, and it's time for you to rest and retreat, uh, Hangman, Four of Cups. Uh, something bigger and better is going to be coming towards you guys. Your enemies are going to be stuck. They're not going to know how to handle any of this stuff that's going to be coming towards them. And for that, you defeated your enemies, Virgos. They're all man down, man down. They just said man down, man down. So all your men are, all the men that were attacking you, okay? Uh, they're going to be on their faces. They're going to be calling for help, but no one's coming to help them. You got out of the situation when it was safe for you to come out of it. It was the right timing for you to remove yourself. Five of Swords, the world card. And because of the world energy, this is a completion for you. You guys are going to be able to rise. You guys are going to be able to rise. Do you understand what I'm saying? You guys are going to be able to rise. You guys are going back into the world, Virgos. You guys have success, abundance, assurance, knowing that you were able to survive. And everywhere, they tried to fuck you up, left, right, and center. Every area of your life, they tried to, but they didn't. They don't know who you are. You're the high priestess, the star card, the strength, the energy, and the world card, meaning that you guys are going to be able to rise. You're going to be able to take your frequency and rise here as well. I do see portals coming in for you guys, Virgos, as well. And it looks like... Uh, you guys are going to be jumping here, uh, world energy, and you guys defeated your enemies. Your enemies are all the way fucked up, Virgos. At the end of the day, they're fucked up. They tried to defeat you. They tried to ruin you. They tried to, and they're running out of options. Seven of Cups in reverse. They were determined. They were determined, Virgos, to put literally put an end towards you, but you cannot put an end to somebody who's always going to bounce back, somebody who's always going to have that rebirth on them, somebody who's going to be able to transform all that negative shit and turn it into fucking light energy because that's who you are. You are of the light. You are a star. You are the high priestess you are a fucking uh galaxy you are a uh, galactic you are uh, a high priestess light worker you are an earth angel and for that nobody and nothing and no one's ever going to be able to touch you uh ace of cups virgos you guys are literally angels angels virgos uh you guys are going to be stepping out into her uh, stepping out of hermit with the hermit card in reverse and you guys are going to be focusing on other projects that are going to be coming towards you guys. So this was a decision that you guys probably were thinking about it for a really long time. But it's saying that it's you guys are going to be able to rise from the ashes. Uh, three of cups to the ten of pentacles. You guys have done the healing that you guys needed to do with that three of cups energy. You've done the healing, Virgos. It's okay for you guys to rise. There's nothing to be disappointed about. You guys have, uh, you guys are going to be successful, abundant in every area of your life, no matter what direction you guys choose to go into. You guys are always going to have that Ten of Pentacles on you, no matter what. They try to block your money. They try to block you. They try to fuck with your gifts. They try to take everything away from you. They try to steal everything away from you, but they can't take nothing away from you, Virgos, because when Spirit says and tells you to how to handle a situation... You must, you must comply, you must oblige, you must, you must, you must listen. And when spirit says, brethren, don't fucking do it, and you go on and you fucking do it, but you're doing it to somebody who you can never fucking compete against. This was severe competition. This was people talking shit on your name, trying to hurt you, trying to fucking ruin you, bring chaos into your life. You guys are the queen of swords. Your hand is up. Your sword is up now, Virgos. You guys speak your truth and you guys are going to always make sure that you guys speak your truth at the end of the day. You guys have been through a long journey with the six of cups to the five of pentacles. This energy has brought a lot of... <sighs> 
sadness into your life six of cups five of pentacles virgos you guys worked very fucking hard with the eight of pentacles i do believe that there's going to be a huge confession that's going to be coming out with the six of swords in reverse to the justice card and everything is going to be balanced out at the end of the day your enemies are no longer going to be able to move forward because any direction that they choose to move forward virgos they are going to have to repay they're saying that they have to repent they have to repent all your enemies are going to have to repent for what they've done to you especially with the fact that you are very good at what it is that you do the fact that you you guys have busted your asses off worked very hard to be where it is that you guys are at today eight of pentacles six of swords confessions are going to be coming through six of swords in reverse justice card as well justice will always be in your favor no matter what because of the dna that you guys carry high priestess star card and because of that virgos because you guys are very fair especially spiritually as well and because of all you were supposed to do all the only thing you were meant to be doing here in this earth plane was to show people what unconditional love was meaning that it's okay to heal yourself it's okay to put people on on the side until until they get their shit together it's okay to make sure that you guys take care of yourself and when people disrespect you and hurt you and harm you and and bring disharmony into your life it's okay to choose yourself these are all validations of you being able to trust yourself knowing when to leave people alone and when to walk away and it's okay to walk away it's okay to walk alone it's okay to be alone and it's okay to walk alone you guys don't need nothing and nobody from you don't need nothing from nobody you need nothing from nobody. If you can't be by yourself or walk alone on your own, then that means you need a lot of fucking healing. People who click up with each other because they're insecure or they need a group of people to take you the fuck out, that means they're the problem because they don't want to fucking face their demons. They don't want to do the healing work where you're already on that level of frequency, meaning you're already above it all, above it all. For that, Virgos, you guys will always prevail. Justice card. Uh, judgment is going to be coming in on this situation as well. And Six of Swords, confessions are going to be coming in, especially at a workplace. There's going to be huge confessions that are going to be coming in. People are going to be seeing things for exactly what they are at this point. And they're going to know, people are going to know that with the Six of Cups, don't feel sad for anything that had happened Virgos don't feel sad for speaking up and speaking your truth never feel sad about it never feel nostalgic you guys have you guys are so abundant no matter what with that queen of swords energy do not feel sad do not mourn anything you guys have done what you guys needed to do you did what you needed to do and people really tried to fuck with your money they tried to fuck with your money. They tried to fuck with your work. They tried to fuck with your business. They did everything that they can, but not knowing that all that energy that they put out towards you is going to put them in the five of pentacles. They're not going to have nothing left in the end. Five of pentacles, eight of pentacles, six of swords in reverse, the justice card. Everything's going to be okay, Virgos. You guys are going to be walking away uh, at the bottom of the deck. You guys are going to be walking away. You're leaving everything behind. You're legitimately leaving. You don't have to leave everything behind, but you guys are saying, you know what? I'm going to fucking leave this behind because what am I sitting here in a spiritual warfare? How the fuck did you guys get yourself into this energy? Four of swords. And you guys know better than this you guys know better like where did you how did you guys end up in this shitty situation how did you guys ever end up with around people who are so fucking ignorant who are so rude who are so disrespectful when you are nothing like them you deserve better virgos and that's what it literally what it comes fucking down to uh, moon energy and that's all because of the deceptiveness that happens in the spiritual realm with the moon card you don't know how to respect spirit you don't know how to respect other dimensions you don't know how to respect divination moon these people are always and only ever going to be a shadow in their next life and when they're having to go up. They're not going to make it, the moon energy Virgos. You guys are going to continue to make sure that you guys take care of yourself and protect yourselves. You guys carry a lot of possessions within you that nobody is ever going to be able to have. There is so much more within you that you know for yourself but the world doesn't fucking know about you at the end of the day. They'll never know. It's always going to be hidden no matter what. It will always be hidden, Virgos. The treasures that you guys carry within you is for you and for you only. Nobody, they think that they were able to take what they can from you. They didn't. They took nothing from you, Virgos. You guys played your part exactly how the fuck you guys are supposed to play it. And you guys are able to leave the situation exactly how you guys are meant to fucking leave, be leaving it at the end of the day. Four of Pentacles, you guys are leaving everything behind. You guys are the type of people that will... will, will I got 20 fucking cups in one cup i got 10 million dollars another cup i got a mil a billion dollars and the next cup i got diamonds and jewelry the next cup i got fucking fucking uh jordans and air dunks and and fucking whatever the fuck else what the next cup you guys got a lottery winnings it's like you guys are the t you guys are humble enough to know that you know what none of this fucking shit comes along with you guys at the end of the day nothing comes with you guys 
And this is the this is the problem with fucking humanity at this point. It's like everyone's running and chasing after something. What are you chasing? Nothing is coming with you. The whole point of living on this earth plane is to make sure that you're living your best life, that you're happy, that you're humble, you walk with integrity, that you have morals, that you have dignity. These are the main fucking things that you that you have. And if you don't have any of these characteristics within you, then you are going to be a lost soul for the rest of your life. Moon card. And that is a lost soul right there hiding under the moon. These people thought that they were going to be able to stay hidden for, for however fucking long. It's saying here, Virgos, that you guys know exactly who your enemies are. That they think that they're, that they're, they're sitting there in clicks and in groups thinking that they're oh that person is never gonna know that it's us doing it no you guys know exactly who it is that's doing this to you guys you know exactly who's do who's doing it you know virgos no matter how much they try and act like they're a fucking that they're that they're hiding right the the, the you know you know two of cups everything is always gonna work out for you in the long run you are always gonna be blessed for you for yourselves in the long run because you carry these traits within you Integrity, morals, dignity, fucking uh, uh, integrity, fucking love. Because you rise yourselves at a very high frequency, you are always going to continuously be blessed, ace of wands. They have to pay up for their actions. These are the type of people who kept taking, 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 taking. But they never gave you back in return. They never gave you nothing back in return. But you gave and you gave and you gave because that's who you are. That's who your characteristic is. That's who you gen. You're genuinely a fucking beautiful person. That you're not. I don't have nothing. Four of Pentacles. I don't really have a whole lot, but you know, I'll still give it to you anyway. I'll still give to you anyway, even though I don't have it. I will still give it to you, and I will go hustle, and I will get it back again on my own. Six of Pentacles, and then because of you, because you carry yourself with that energy, you're always going to be blessed, Ace of Wands, and Divine and Spirit love you so so fucking much so so much you have these people sitting there watching you with the king of swords and they know you guys were freaking it's like they're praying on you they're sitting here praying on you the king of swords to the king of wands you have two fucking men who are sitting here praying on you literally praying on you praying on you not knowing that you're an earth angel and even if they did know that you were an earth angel they don't give a fuck because these are people who only want power who are so militant who don't think with their fucking heart space. Do you think that this king of swords thinks with their heart space? They don't. They don't. They only think what's for what's best for them. That's all they think about. They only think about what's best for them. This king of wands wants nothing but power. He's always running to his fucking wands. Let's cast this fucking spell. Let's cast this spell into the fucking moon energy. And let's fucking hide ourselves so that way nobody knows. Yo, this queen of cups knows exactly who you are, king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this Queen of Cups knows exactly who you are, King of Wands. They know. And no matter what it is that you do, no matter what it is that they do onto you, Virgos, they're always going to get fucking murked for it. Ten of Wands, they're already suffering at the end of the day. You guys are dipping. You guys, are, you guys know what you guys are needing to do. And with the full energy, you guys start from zero. This is your time, Virgos, for you guys to get back on your path, for you guys to get to where it is that you guys need to be with the full energy. And they try to put so much burden on you. They try to make your life fucking heavy. Make your life hard. And and they wanted you to be at losses. But now they're at the loss with the Ten of Wands. You're saying, fuck that. I don't want that in my life. I'm dipping. They tried to make you friggin' have problems in your life. Financial problems in your life. This was a real spiritual warfare where they really did come after your money with the Page of Pentacles. But they don't realize that you're always going to always be blessed, Nine of Cups. You're genuinely always going to be blessed no matter what Virgos. All right? Also, Virgos, you guys got uh, three people coming towards you in the next couple of weeks, all right? Um, one person is coming in trying to control you and dominate you. The other person hasn't been talking to you very, very much, but they are going to be reaching out to you very soon, and they are going to be contacting you. Some of you guys are going to be looking at this motherfucker like, yo, may I help you? You're going to respond back like, hey, can I help you? But I think you guys are going to be so abundant with your own fru fruition that I think you guys are going to be good at the end of the day. All right? Vengeance is going to be served on all your enemies. But you guys have so much peace coming towards you guys. 
You guys have so much peace coming towards you guys, Virgos. You're literally, you guys have so much peace. I believe me, 411 is coming in for you guys. 1010 is coming for you guys. 911 is also coming for you guys. And 555 changes, transformation. You're leaving this shit behind at the end of the day. Chariot card, 401s, and the Emperor. You guys are literally divinely protected and taken care of. You guys have so much success, so much happiness, so much groundedness coming towards you guys. You are divinely protected and taken care of. Some of you guys are going to be seeing, seeing two birds that are going to be guided together. These two birds are going to let you know that your life is going to be so much more better for you guys for at once all right you guys also have a gemini libra aquarius a cancer a cancer who's going to be coming towards you guys uh this person's going to want a relationship with you is how i'm seeing this and it is the soulmate connection and you guys are sitting pretty meaning that you guys are not chasing this person they're gonna they're gonna end up having to come back and chase you because you guys are not you're not budging you're not fucking budging at all you guys are just sitting in your power with the empress energy and your guys are going to continue to move forward no matter what um this is crazy. <sighs> you guys know how to be really resilient in every area of your life. You guys can carry so much shit in your life and still be that very full energy. Like no matter how much crap you guys are carrying, you guys will always be there for other people no matter what. Somebody asks you, hey, how are you? You're, you're good. You're always going to be good at the end of the day. No matter how much shit you guys got on your back, you guys are going to always be good. Because you guys know nothing lasts forever, full card. You guys have no problem starting fresh no matter what. You see how you guys carry that that row, that row white rose in your hand? Because you're pure. You're fucking pure. That's what that is. You guys are pure. You guys are always going to be these pure souls. That's who you are. Do I need to be the one to tell you that? Because I'm pretty sure you guys being the high priest is the star card to the strength card to the magician... You guys, I know you guys already know that you're pure, that you're powerful, that you're unconditional love. And there was a lot of hateful people around you guys who wanted to take everything away from you. Not coming to the realization that, hey, we're going to remove you now because what we're going to do to your enemies is going to be fucking scary as fuck. You don't need to be around here. You don't need to be around here for this situation. Get the fuck out. And that's exactly what you guys are going to be doing. <sighs> There's also going to be Virgos, um, lots of problems coming in with the Four of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Tower card, and the Five of Cups in reverse. They're saying that you, if there's going to be problems here, let's just say someone's at a, like a hotel or something like this with the Four of Swords, the Five of Wands, it's saying that someone's going to end up getting jumped, and it's going to be very, very difficult with the Tower card. It's going to be, you, someone's going to get jumped here. Make sure you guys are not, or make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. Especially if you're going to be getting jumped. This could be like someone sleeping and then some sort of fight breaks out. It's saying that if you guys see this fight break out while you guys are sleeping. So let's just say you guys are sleeping and you hear a fight breaking out outside, whatever the case is. It's saying don't get up. Stay. Do not do not go and check. Don't, don't bother looking at the window. Don't fucking, just don't fucking nothing. Do not look. Do not look. Because it's saying that you guys are going to end up wanting to look with the Hermit in reverse. But it's saying, like, do not. Because you're determined. Like, not, Virgos are all fucking spies. Virgos see everything. <laughs> so it's saying, please don't look. Death card. Don't look. Don't look. Just mind your own business. Um, you guys also have a Gemini Libra Aquarius who's going to be returning back towards you guys, Virgos. This person's going to contact you and send you a message. You guys are going to be looking at this person like, yes, may I help you? But they are going to be coming in very fast. There is a reunion coming in for you guys with the four of wands and the empress energy. There's a reunion coming in between you and this person. It could be anybody for that matter, but this person's going to be coming in very, very fast. At the end of the day, it's two fast energies with the chariot card to the knight of swords. They're coming in very, very fast. And when this person comes back for you with the four of wands to the empress card, you're gonna, you're not impressed. It's like they're, they're trying to say that you're not impressed. But this would be your considered your counterpart here with the Emperor card to the Empress energy. So this is a this is uh this is a counterpart for you guys, Virgos. Nine of Pentacles and the King of Cups. This is somebody who wants to genuinely show you a lot of love and a lot of care. You're very fucking beautiful with the Nine of Pentacles. You're single, you're abundant, you're spiritual, you're happy, you're you got everything going for you. The way that you dress is just so amazing too. Like you guys put your you guys put your best outfits on, like from literally from your shoes all the way to the top of your head. You guys are cute as fuck. Men and women, you guys are all cute as hell, right? And this person's absolutely heartbroken with the three of swords because they know that they're absolutely in love with you, that they're still attracted to you with the lover's card to the hierophant, right? This person's coming in, Virgos. They want a full-out commitment between you and this person. 
Also, Virgos, they're saying that there could be a contract coming in for you guys as well with the Hierophant to the King of Cups. There might be some sort of contract. A soul contract is how I'm seeing this. But this person is so heartbroken because you were their, genuinely their happiness. And they were so attracted to your love and your beauty. This, person's, this person was so easily able to get distracted by you. Meaning that maybe this person was dealing with you and then they got distracted by somebody else and that's why they're all heartbroken. So that sore that's in their third, the third, the, 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 the third sore that's in their heart space right now is pretty severe and it's hurting them really, really badly. This person maybe may have also been through three different marriages or two marriages that hurt this person really, really badly and this is why they're having a lot of difficulties in their life, especially when it comes to commitments and relationships. <sighs> But you guys are going to speak to them, King of Wands and the Page of Wands, all right? You guys have so much more happiness and much more fulfillment coming towards you guys with the Ten of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. There's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who's hustling and busting their asses off right now just to get to the Ten of Cups energy. You guys are working really, really hard. And you guys come with a lot of integrity with the King of Cups, but there's a lot of money coming towards you guys too. Expect a ton of money coming towards you coming towards you guys Virgos especially when it comes to your businesses if you guys are business owners or whatever it's saying that you guys got a lot of money coming for you guys you guys are the type of people who do investments you guys are the type of people who give to charity because you guys give 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 it's like that tithing of the energy you know it's like when you give you know the universe is always going to give back no matter what ace of pentacles you guys got money coming towards you guys Virgos all right eight of swords somebody here is definitely stressed out with the eight of swords energy to the nine of wands somebody here is also wishing that they fought for the connection with the nine of wands because now they're all the way fucked up and in their head right but that will has to come in no matter what Virgos this person's going to come back in and they're going to fight for the relationship between you and them but they're saying here with the seven of wands you're going to be very much defensive when this person reaches back out to you guys but they're still coming towards you anyway. And they're, they've are they been really stressed out because judgment has been placed on them for, for what they've done to you. Also, Virgos, all of your enemies who try to hurt you, harm you, destroy you, especially during the half moon energy, maybe within the like, last couple of days, some of you guys have been feeling a lot of stress. <sighs> the reason why you guys have been feeling a lot of stress is because judgment day is officially here. A lot of people are going through judgment at the moment for what they've done to you, Ten of Swords. They don't appreciate it. Spirit, divine, divination, God, the angels, the galactics, the starseeds, they don't fucking appreciate what they've done to you. They have put Ten Swords in your back and it's on, it's on you to heal yourself now. You can't even look at your enemies and be like, why did you do what you did to me? Why did you feel like it was okay for you to do what you did to me? You can't even go out of your way and talk like that to people. You're, you're letting, you're, 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 that's it, you're man down. That's you guys now, Virgos. You guys are the Ten of Swords. But let me explain something to you guys. With the fact that you guys have the Ten of Swords in your back and judgment is in front of you, that means judgment is coming to defend you. Judgment is coming in to defend you. Meaning that you don't have any more fight in you. Okay, you guys don't have any more fight in you. That's it. You've reached, your, you've reached your maximum. You've reached your max. Ten swords. It's enough. You did ten swords on somebody who would never have fucking hurt in you. Ten swords. Look at all those roses. You had nothing but love to give to these people. Whether they're a relationship, friendship, whoever it is that they are. Enemies, whatever. Because in the ten of swords energy, because you guys carry all those roses, you don't wish bad on none of them. You don't wish bad on any of them. But they do. They wish a lot of bad on you. They said, forgive them anyway. Forgive them anyway, Virgos. Forgive them for what they've done to you anyway. Because your heart doesn't fucking move the way their hearts move. Right? Your enemies are going to be stressed out. They're going to be laying on them fucking couches. They're sitting there fucking what? Lighting all these stupid ass fucking candles to, to, make, to, to clear out the fucking energy. The fuck off. Fuck off. Nine of swords. You know what you did wrong. And you're and you're now you're in despair. You're in despair because judgment's being called. That you have to go through judgment now for what you've done to this person with the ten of swords. They didn't want you to be successful. You are gonna be successful no matter what. No matter where you end up in this lifetime, Virgos, you guys are always gonna be successful. And they thought that they can come in and take from you, steal from you, harm you, uh, cheat on you, lie on you, and take what they literally can. They did. They did. 
They literally tried to fucking take literally what was yours and they tried to take it as as if it was theirs. They're never going to be you. They will never be you. It's not going to happen. Not in this time, not in the next life. This devil, does this, does this devil look like he gives a fuck about this page of swords? He's like, he's like, yo, Bridget, the fuck you mean? You're a page. I'm the devil. Do you even know what the devil looks like? Do you even know how the devil works? Do you even know how the underworld works? But you're sitting there as a page of swords and you think that you want to call on my name and get me to do this shit to a fucking uh, a galactic, to a high priestess, to an earth angel? Sure. Since you called us, we're going to, we'll be there to take the offering from this page of swords. But it doesn't mean that that is going to get accepted do you understand what i'm saying no matter who you call who you choose to call of the of the negative shit of the underworld of the fucking crap that you've done that same devil is coming to fuck you up whether you like it or not and let's see how you're going to be able to carry that energy because i guarantee you when you're chained and when you're bound and when you're being whooped the fuck up by that devil you're owned you're owned the devil fucking owns you now the devil owns the page of swords for what they've done to you. I do believe this is a lot of lost souls here with the devil card to the page of swords. A lot of lost souls. You guys, people here have got so lost by working and summoning up underworld energies that they are literally lost spiritually. Their souls are lost. Their souls are lost, Virgos. Um... But they tried to take everything away from you. You cannot take away something. You cannot take away something that is for somebody else. Knight of Pentacles, all right? You guys are always going to be okay. It's saying that with the Ten of Swords to the Knight of Pentacles, you guys are going to get back on that horse. And you're going to move in life no matter what. You guys do come with a lot of integrity. You're very skilled at the things that you guys do. That nobody, So you guys are the Knight Energy. So you guys are warriors. And when you come in as a warrior like this, what you guys do as warriors... You are a protector. You have this warrior energy about you guys that no matter you see somebody being bullied, you're coming to step in. You see someone being disrespected, you're coming to step in. You know someone's in the wrong and they're and they're talking shit to someone, you're gonna step in. You're that type because you're the knight of you're the knight of pentacles. You're always going to have that heart of gold. You have that heart of gold. And that's exactly what they want from you. But the difference between you and them is, is that they don't have the heart of gold. Devil card, page of swords. They don't have that. They don't have the heart of gold. They're, they're never going to have that. They're lost souls. They're lost. Pray for your enemies, Virgos, because they're all fucking lost. They're lost. They're gone. That's it. No, no one's coming to save your enemies. When I say no one's com there, no one's coming to save your enemies, Virgos. That's the end of it. You guys are being removed from the situation completely once and for all. It's done and over with. Knight of Pentacles, you guys are warriors. You guys are with love, with integrity. You guys have a heart of gold. And when you come in as somebody with a heart of gold like this is the Knight of Pentacles, that means you guys have carried warrior energy and knight energy in many previous lifetimes before, meaning that you always come to people's rescue. You're always there to help people. You always help the people who are being bullied. Yeah, you're getting bullied. Okay, I'm going to jump in for you. You're the type of people that when you see somebody who cannot defend themselves, you're going to come in and you're going to step in front of them and you're going to defend them. That's warrior energy. That's knight energy. To be a knight, you have to come with integrity. And that's exactly what you guys carry. Knight of Pentacles, Virgos. Knight of Pentacles. And spirit loves you very much as the page of cuss because you genuinely are sincere. Uh, angels are going to be working uh, behind the scenes for you, for you to be able, <sighs> for you to get your victory no matter what. You guys win in the situation. Because along this whole entire journey that you guys have been on, especially on spirituality, you guys have done everything with a clean fucking heart. With a clean heart, you guys have done it. And you guys had enemies left, right, and center taking you down, sending you the biggest fucking demons, sending you freaking the darkest energies, the shitty energies, fucking flies all over the fucking place as well to try and fucking disturb you, to harm you, to hurt you, to fucking end you, to for you to be boop the fuck by. That's exactly what they was trying to do to you. All of them was trying to, they were all clicking up in groups just to fucking do this shit to you. But they don't realize, it doesn't matter if they realize it or not. They are going to learn and realize that they created all of this karma for themselves on something that they should never have done in the first place. Meaning that now they have no choice but to deal with themselves. 
the angels are working and they're going to continue to work in your favor no matter what. All right? They're going to continue to work in your favor, Virgos, no matter what. All right? It's going to keep happening for you guys. As the ace of swords, you guys see the truth for what it is. You guys see the truth for what it is, meaning that you guys are going to be ascending. This is ascension. You guys are going to be ascending. You guys are going to continue to move forward, Virgos, especially on a soul level. You guys have made it as, a, as the Ace of Swords to the Knight of Pentacles. The judgment and spirit is saying that we saw the unjust shit that they've done to you. It's unacceptable behavior, especially on a spiritual level. They've committed a lot of spiritual warfare on a lot of light workers and a lot of earth angels, a lot of pleadings, galactics. When they were not doing nothing except trying to show what unconditional love looks like, and that's exactly what you guys did. You were meant to show people what gen what true love looks like you guys show people what true love looks like and you also showed what people what would happen to people who go against what of what true love is genuinely is this is like the saddest fucking reading you can possibly ever get like the saddest reading you guys are always going to be okay virgos but to sh sh but to see how much fucking evil in this is in this world and the crazy thing about it is is that it's like as much evil as is there as there are in the world is also the problem with the world. The ones who see things but don't do nothing about it. So when they were sitting there watching you being the ten of swords all fucked up but you were still giving. Yeah, I got ten swords in my back plus I got another fucking twenty in my chest and I got a fucking couple more in my legs and whatever the fuck else what. Nobody came for you. No one's still going to come for you. I'm telling you Virgos, no one's coming for you. You're going to have to get those swords out of your back on your own. And that's why judgment is stepping in front of you, saying enough already, enough already. We've seen what you fucking done to this person. And you're not gonna have, you're not gonna hurt them anymore. It's enough now. We're gonna step in. It's time for judgment. It's time for tests. It's time for trials. It's time for whatever the fuck we choose to do to you. And they thought that they were gonna get away with it with the seven of swords, but the angels are saying, nope, sorry, the fuck you mean? You're going up against ours, against one of ours. And you want to sit here and summon up the fucking dark energies to hurt somebody who's not hurting you, Ten of Swords? You're hurting somebody who's of a knight energy, who's a warrior, somebody who walks with integrity, somebody who here has who has actually a gold heart. And this is what they want from you. They want your heart. They want your golden heart. They're never going to be you. You cannot take shit and put fucking gold flakes on it and say it's a fucking uh, 18 karat gold. You're still shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are still a piece of shit. No matter what you choose to cover yourself in, underneath all of that covering is still shit. You know what you are. You know who you are. You know what you did. You know what you did to this fucking person with the tennis shirt. You know exactly what you did. And shame on all of you. I feel so sad for all the light workers and the Galactics and the Pleiadians who have suffered so much just to show what love and light literally looks like. I feel so sad. This is a very sad fucking reading. And now judgment is here. <sighs> judgment is going to be called in between now and there's going to be a huge judgment that's going to be coming in between now and December 10th. I do recommend you, Virgo, that you guys continue to stay safe around the next 10 days, uh, especially the next 8 days for sure. Take care of yourselves. But at the end of the day, I know that you guys are always going to be blessed and always be safe with the Page of Cups, the, the Temperance card, and the Ace of Swords. You guys are definitely going to always be good at the end of the day. Uh, Six of Wands. Whatever is going to be happening to your enemies, Virgos, from this day forward, which is already happening to them, uh, angels and spirit are jumping in for you with the Temperance card. You guys know the truth. And as long as you guys stay to yourselves and speak the truth no matter what and like connect with divination with the because you guys are saying this is the temperance card to the ace of swords is saying is literally letting you know, hey, ascension is here. Transcendence is here. Get ready and be prepared for what we're, what we're about to do. So archangels, Archangel Gabrielle, Archangel Michael, all the archangels are coming in to blow the horn. The spiritual warfare that they have put you guys through is fucking bullshit. It's bullshit. It was literally a war between good and evil. I'm telling you, Virgos, good is always going to win. 
You're, all your enemies, they're not going to transcend. They're not going to fucking make it. That's between them and God. And when God says, oh, no, you can't transcend because when you were going through all those tests and all those fucking trials, why did you hurt people? Why did you try and take from them? Do, do fucked up shit towards them. Why did you feel like that shit was okay? But you're sitting here not realizing that there is so much more into this earth, that there's so much more into this universe, that you have the fucking ignorance. What's agility mean? Agility. I don't even know what's the fucking word. Agility. Agility. What does agility mean? I don't know. At the end of the day, Virgos, your ascension is here. Temperance, card, ace, swords. You guys are going to be ascending spiritually on the next level for yourselves. Whether you choose to be in this energy or not, you guys are still going to continue to ascend no matter what. Nothing and no one's ever going to stop you guys. Ascension is here, Virgos. Transcendence is here. You guys want to level up. You, they are saying that you, you, in order to keep leveling up spiritually and to stay true to yourself, you must always be the Page of Cups. Always be sincere, always be loving, always be compassionate to your spirituality. And this, because you guys are like this, you guys are always going to win and be protected no matter what. Your enemies are not going to get very far with the Seven of Swords. In fact, they're not going to make it to the Ascension. They're not going to make it to the Transcendence. It is what it is at the end of the day. You guys are going to continue to level up. Whatever's going to happen to your enemies, I ask that you guys forgive them for what they have done to you. Even though it carries a lot of sadness into your heart space, forgive them anyway. Because you, you are, no one's ever going to be able to take that away from from you you're always going to be unconditional love you were meant to come to this earth plane to show what unconditional love is and you guys did and you guys immensely did a wonderful job so congratulations to you guys for doing your part and keep ascending and keep moving forward you guys is uh four of swords five of wands this was nothing but a fucking headache for you guys literally nothing but a headache but as long as you guys stay true to yourselves, you guys can't go wrong, no matter what. That tower is coming in. Don't be sad, Virgos. Lift your heads up and uh, move forward. Thanks, cuties. Bye.